Hello, one and all. I am Chantel here at Fit and Functional. With me, I have Denasia. Denasia suffers from upper cross syndrome, mostly known as bad posture. If you will look here, that is where you have a curvature in the upper back, and then you have protruding of the neck and head. And we want our head and our eyes to be at an eye level in a neutral position. So with that, we're going to do some stretches to help encourage the minimize of her upper cross syndrome that's going to encourage better posture for her. So first we want to stretch out our lavender scapula. The lavender scapula is located right here behind the scapula which is known as our shoulder blade and it runs up from the shoulder blade up into the back of your skull right up here up into your neck. So first to stretch that out you're going to want to place one arm up in the middle of your back and then you want to once you get that placement you then want to turn your head to the opposite shoulder and just look and tilt your chin down towards that shoulder. Denasia, how was that stretch for you? Good. Nice. So with that, you're going to feel that stretch right here on that lavender scapula. And then you're going to switch arms. Our next stretch to better our posture is going to stretch out our suboccipital muscles. Those muscles are the small muscles that run from your upper spine to the back of your neck going into your skull. So to stretch those muscles out, you want to place your hands behind your head, interlocking your fingers, and then you want to tuck your chin into your neck or your chest. While you're doing that, you don't want to push on your head. You want to just slightly bring your neck towards a nice roll, mostly on its own, because you want to give support to your neck, reducing injury to your spine. Those muscles also run in different angles of the skull. So because of that, you want to just tilt your head like so from one side of your chest to the next side. Just simply providing stretch to all those suboccipital muscles. Next, we're going to SMR, which is self myofascial release, our up mid and lower trapezius, which is right up in this region of your back. So, self myofascial release is going to provide a release of that knot or tightening that's right there in the muscle. So, Denasia, if you will, please go down to the mat on your bottom with your knees up to the ceiling and your feet planted on the floor. Then you want to just take a roller. I have a small roller and a larger one. I'm going to use a smaller one for Denasia as she's a smaller young girl. So, with that, we're going to place it down and she's going to go down onto the roller, crossing her hands over her chest also crossing this foot over, providing more pressure on that muscle. She's going to relax that muscle and then with your heel, you're going to allow yourself to roll out on top of that roller. As you're rolling, you want to find that tightening, which may be some discomfort and resembles a pain onto that muscle. While you're on that muscle, you're just going to hold it there for 10 to 15 seconds, releasing that knot. How is that, Denasia? Good. 